Want me to stir it? Oh my gosh, please. Oh wow, she's so how she's so helpful in the kitchen. Yeah. Bum, ba, 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 ba. It's cooking with Courtney. Courtney. Hey guys, welcome back to Vegan Cooking with Courtney. And today we are going to be making a cheesy cauliflower cheese burger with the impossible meats. And here is my really great friend, Jen Bricker. She's an aerialist, a speaker, she's an author. She be doing it up. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. So we are going to make this burger and I am so excited. Guys, let's get started. We have so much to do. So we are going to use mushrooms, onions. We're only gonna use one onion, cut it in half, chop it up a little bit, leave some circles and we're going to use diced tomatoes and we're gonna add it to the impossible meat and while all of that's that going good. on oh my gosh it's gonna be so it's good <laughs> it's my first time with this whole burger it's impossible so situation so. I know we're going to use this cauliflower to make cheese so I'm going to put some water on the stove and I'm going to boil these until they're soft so I'm gonna do that let's turn this on 320 I'll be back. <laughs> so we are going to add our Mayoku vegan butter. Oh. We're gonna add like that's two amazing. tablespoons. Yeah, that's, I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's that's delicious. Cool. It's so good. So what you been up to? How's life? Life is crazy and good and all the things. Um, yeah. You know, one of the new things, speaking of, since this is a vegan channel, so I'm not vegan, but I very much enjoy a lot of vegan foods. And what I love the most is actually exactly what he's doing, the creativeness of like what you can do with vegan food, you know, to be creative and like do things that aren't vegan, but taste like it, like a burger, for example. So that is one of the most cool, interesting things about vegan food to me. And I just learned, I don't know if I'm late to the game, but I just learned about celery juicing. Uh, do you girl, know, do you yeah. Know? Hey. And this is my fifth day. I think I'm on day five. Of doing that? Of doing, yeah, celery juice. Oh, wow. So wait, juicing. so what are you doing now, though? Because my friend, he had, like, really crazy skin. And he was like, I got to figure this out. And so he did a bunch of celery juicing mm -hmm. for the longest time. And his skin is, like, amazing. perfect. See, that's, yeah. those are the testimonies that I've been seeing. I've been seeing people's acne like cystic acne yep. straight up gone yep. i've been seeing um pcos thyroid this girl got off her thyroid medication See? Yep. from celery juice Ooh. Ooh. it's popping up hold on let me just add these mushrooms we're gonna add a little bit of mushrooms Ooh, that's looking good oh it's gonna look so i'm, I'm, gonna, add, I'm gonna add the whole thing we're gonna add so much we are also going to make a pretzel bread because we made pretzels last time in our last video so i definitely wanted to like chow down on some yes. burger bread like I'm that. Not complaining about that i love making pretzel buns um yeah so i saw all these testimonies and basically this guy the where it kind of comes from is this medical medium guy that's mm -hmm. where i've been seeing it mm -hmm. and but i've been reading more of the testimonies of other people yeah. and that's what you know yeah and so he recommends doing the celery juice in the morning on an empty stomach okay and then he has this heavy metal detox um smoothie where oh, it's like yes wow. that you do after it so okay. it pulls toxins and pulls heavy metals and things like yeah. that so i haven't done the smoothie yet but the celery juice i have to say um i've noticed like in my body a difference i've noticed a difference all right only day wow. five so wow. you know anything you got to do it a month at least you got to right? do it for a little while a yeah while. i do agree but so. i think that that's i mean what you put into your body if you fuel yeah. your body with the things that it needs you're gonna be good yeah. you're gonna be able to take care of yourself yeah. you're gonna be able to your body's gonna be able to take care of you that's like why you need to do it i think that's why it's super healthy to you know make some changes yeah get her vegan Okay. Well, <laughs> Listen, I knew him long before. <laughs> okay? Long before. They don't know that. Uh -huh. They don't know that. Now they know. <laughs> Guys, we're going to add everything but the bagel. We are going to add a little bit of 21 seasoning. You know what? You can do this while I'm here. Yeah, I love these. So do, yeah. yeah. Uh, aren't they nice? Ones. So we just yeah. added the 21. So let's do like umami. Yeah. Mommy. yeah. Just 
Ooh. Yeah, just a sprinkle over okay. a little baby bit. We're gonna add yeah. garlic sauce. Ooh, garlic sauce. Yeah, Lovely. crank it in there. Cranking it out. Some onion salt. I have onion all of salt. these at home, actually. It, see? I love we, them. Uh huh. Yeah, garlic powder. I literally have all of these, except, well, yeah, I also have black pepper. Yeah, black pepper. Yep. Want me to stir it? Oh my gosh, please. Oh wow, she's so help she's so helpful in the kitchen. Hey, look at me. <laughs> so we're gonna cook this for about 15 minutes. We're also going to set our cauliflower for 30 minutes. That's gonna be I mean that's the drip. I can't even I, I'm so excited. But I'm ready for this cauliflower cheese. <laughs> you are okay. going to lose it. 21 seasoning. I'm so excited. Everything but the bagel. Umami. Do a little, do a okay. little stir. Yeah, I crank it, it out. It. Oh. We're gonna do a little bit Ooh, of onion this salt. Is this is the burger, guys. This is what I've been like working on while she be chit chatting. Mm -hmm. Okay, black and this pepper? one was like onion salt. Oh, garlic, garlic salt, powder. garlic powder, and garlic black powder. pepper, and black pepper. We got so much to cook. We got so much to cook. I'm so ready. So we are going to set this to the side. So guys, this is four cups of water into this bowl. This is going to be for our pretzel bread. You're going to do this water and then you're also going to add baking soda. And we're probably gonna do like half a cup of baking soda and you dip the bread in here after you knead it for the second time. So excited. Really fancy with pretzel bread. So oh fancy, so fancy. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're mixing this up, stir it up. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Awesome butter stuff. Delicious vegan butter. Looks like cheese. And why are you keeping the onion rings? Is that for the burger? Is yes, yeah. Top? I want it to be oh. like really caramelized yeah. and I want the mushrooms to be incredibly soft. Yeah. but like have like a really nice brown and even though they're dark you'll still be able to see that brown so i'm yeah. like super stoked about that that's nice yeah i like that it's I gonna always be delicious like, like, the caramelized onion and mushroom yes. mm -hmm. set this to the side as soon as it's finished but we want to get these onions like brown okay guys so we have sweet potato i feel like you cannot have a burger without some kind of side, you know yeah. what I mean? So we oh, gotta yeah. do something. Yeah. So I'm gonna do you a have little. Some fries. Uh huh. Something. <laughs> some kind of potato. <laughs> a little bit of everything about the bagel. I'm doing umami. I'm doing 21 seasoning. Mm -hmm. I know. I love like seasoning all the food. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in it. This is garlic salt. Yeah. And I'm going to do, last but not least, onion salt. We're gonna add a little bit of oil. I would have melted butter and then put it on there and then did it, but I was like, <laughs> I'm doing a lot. <laughs> so let's mix this. Oh, these are getting nice and soft. They look so good. Okay, so we're gonna put these in our air fryer. Normally, if you would like, you can put a, a tin foil in your air fryer so then that way it doesn't get super messy but you know i'm being lazy so we just go air fry it <laughs> <laughs> and how long do you air fry so three i'm gonna do three 360 and i'm going to do 30 minutes and every like 10 15 minutes take it out shake it and then put it back in they're awesome. gonna get so soft let's work on these burgers yes let's do it so do your Friends over here watching your channel know how long we've known each other? Oh my gosh, no! So uh, I have known this lovely little bean for about 10, 11 years. I think more than that even. I know. It doesn't seem possible. It doesn't because we're so like youthful. Yeah, very youthful. So youthful. Yes. <laughs> We, have, we, we put effort in our youth. <laughs> don't age, don't age, no. <laughs> but we met in Florida. We were just like starting out, little ones, trying yeah. to live our best lives and get into the industry. And now we're, here we are, we're grown doing, up and living our best. Grown up, at his own cooking channel, like <laughs> talking about adult things. I crazy. know, it's so fun. On the other side of the US, like 
crazy. I know. It's insane. Crazy. And then tell them about like the book and your journey and what you've been doing. I would love to hear that. Yeah, so I know you guys can't see in this video, but I was actually born without legs and I'm sure that has like, wait a minute, what? You know, all the questions. I'll, I'll answer a few of them for you. Um, <laughs> so I was adopted when I was born, put in a foster home for about three months, and uh, then I was adopted actually at three months old. So I grew up in Southern Illinois, and my family has three older brothers, and they just raised me, you know, I mean, what is normal, but I mean, they didn't raise me any differently just because I didn't have legs. And they were so, you know, you know my parents. I do. They're like your parents. They're amazing. Yeah. And so they're just salt of the earth, down, you know, normal, small town people. And, but they were, you know, they were chosen to raise me. And they raised me with this, with this mindset of can't isn't part of your vocabulary. Meaning, like, when you come across a situation, you... You don't think that's impossible or that can't be done or that mountain can't be overcome. But you think, no, that can be. I don't know how yet, but it, it is possible. It's I know that's right. Right? I know that's right. <laughs> Somebody heard me on here. Thank I you. Know that's right. Thank you. And so they raised me with that mindset. So they allowed me to do basically everything that I, that I love to do, all kinds of sports. I did softball, basketball, volleyball. All with able-bodied athletes, so there was I didn't use prosthetics, I didn't even use my wheelchair. That was normal for me. And I love gymnastics. This is my favorite. And, and then as an adult, fast forward several years, I've been performing professionally as an acrobat and an aerialist. She's killing it. Thank you. She's just doing everything that you know that she probably could have done already. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm basically where I am because of amazing people who poured into my life and who've been supportive and who defended me and was my muscle when I needed it. <laughs> and, you know, all kinds of things like that. My parents, my family, my teachers, my coaches. And so, yeah, pretty, pretty blessed and wild, crazy life, but I'm really grateful. Uh, so we are going to do this burger. I'm ready. We're not gonna let her mess up her hands, you know. Well, I'll just do it. I got, you know, She's nice nails, whatever. Nice rings. Whatever. It'll just get messy for me. All right, let's do this burger. Oh. <laughs> now you can get the impossible meat as like burgers already, but I wanted to put onions in it. I wanted to put tomatoes in it. I wanted to be able to season it really nicely. I'm gonna actually turn this down to 290 Fahrenheit because it's been on for a little bit. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. It smells so good. It holds up so well. I see that. I was wondering so if it was like going to fall apart, but it's... No. It's not, actually. We know how to do it over here. Apparently. I'm going to add a little more vegan butter because they need it. They need it. <laughs> I like to surround them. I like them to pick up all the flavors. Oh, yeah, I see that. And then I'm also going to have uh, my little guest over here season them a little bit. Ooh. Not too much. What, what just like we're going to do all of them except for the garlic powder okay. and the black pepper. Okay. And then just like pour it on there. That's part. She, she knows how to do it. I do know how to do it. She knows how to do I it. I know my way around a little bit. A little, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> so guys, this is our... Eh. Wow. This is our dough. That looks amazing. Oh my gosh. So we've already kneaded it and made it look amazing. I am going to soak it just for a little bit. You're just gonna swish it around in your baking soda water. Three fourths cups, do four cups of water, really get in there. It's gonna taste absolutely unbelievable. I'm so excited. Okay guys, <laughs> so we are ready. So we have our cauliflower that we just boiled. He said we roll it. <laughs> so we are going to drop our cauliflower in here. They're already super boiled, really nice and soft. I'm gonna add my unsweetened regular almond milk. So this is one, it's like half a cup, so half a cup. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. This is half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just like eyeballing. Y'all know how I do it. I'm just gonna eyeball this. And then where is my cover? I got it. <laughs> cover it up. Yes. Oh, you know what I have to do though? I just need to just add it. We're gonna do half a one fourth teaspoon of cornstarch. Oh my 
gosh, that oh looks crazy. Oh. So creamy. So creamy. Oh, oh this looks amazing. Okay, but I'm also gonna add the Van cheese. I'm just gonna add a little bit, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan, our vegan, follow your heart Parmesan cheese. Mm. Oh my God, it's so oh, good. good. It's amazing. Never had it. I never thought this could be. Looks so oh beautiful. Oh. Now we are going to use our pot and we are going to bake, like, you know, cook it up a little bit for five minutes. It's gonna be so good. I'm ready. Okay, so we are going to bake this up just a little bit. The we cheese? Are, the cheese. We're okay. gonna set it to 280, you know, maybe 250. 250 is better. We want it to do, you know, a light little boil. And this is it. We're yeah. like, yeah. And the sweet potatoes are done too. Can and the sweet it? potato, yeah, let's show that. Ooh. Look at her already telling me. She's telling me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> it looked good and crunchy. I'm and so ready. Seasoned. Oh, okay. I want I just want to show you guys how like Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. This looks so that looks good. That's so creamy. That's so amazing what you can do with cauliflower. Huh. Wow, look at this. I just need to show I just need to show you. That's cauliflower. Isn't it? I cool? just Oh my gosh, I just need to show you that. That and looks so like a creamy alfredo sauce. I actually. know. And so 5 minutes on here and we're done. Our buns are cooking. We are killing it out, guys. Bun is in the oven. Ooh, bun is in the oven. <laughs> we are so ready. This is gonna get incredibly, incredibly creamy, and I'm just really ready for it. Are you ready to go to the table? I'm seriously ready. You ready? Okay, we got five. One, two, three. Guys, we are finished, finally. finally. <laughs> now, the pretzel bun turned out really, really big. I would suggest when you cut it in half and put it on your baking tray, just cut it in half one more time, make another one, super easy, right? Easy breezy. Let's dive into this messy burger. Oh, it's so crispy. Though. Look at that cheese, all oh, the oh cauliflower cheese, wow. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. This bun <laughs> is amazing. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Guys, this cheese, the burger the bread. bun, the bread. Oh my gosh. Mm. This is amazing. Wow. I'm very ready for this. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I needed more patty! Oh my gosh! Dang, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm telling you though, it tastes amazing. Mm -hmm. This pretzel bread tastes so fresh and so crispy. I mean, the sauce, the flavor, wow. You nailed it. Guys, she just doesn't want to get messy. That's what it is. I don't want to get messy right I'm now. I'm going to get messy for you. You got messy for you. <laughs> That's... We killed it. You, yeah. Mainly you crushed it, but I helped a little bit. I mean, y'all helped too. <laughs> she helped. Guys, subscribe. Watch another video. Go check Jen out. Look thank at you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to enjoy, so I really hope you guys do too. Mm -hmm. Bye. See ya. <laughs>